Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today is video number two of three on our School Days Altered Book slash Journal. In video one we tore out the pages, we put the decorative pages in, and you saw me embellish the music and art page. So in today's video, we are going to embellish all of the pages. I wanted to just give you a little reminder that I don't necessarily work in order. So I may flip uh, to different areas of the book and do a page as I'm inspired. Once I got the blue paper into this book and I put some die cut in there and this journaling page, I decided I wanted to go around it with some rose gold paint just to soften the edges. And you can see I'm just using my finger to do that. I wanted to have really good control over how much paint I put on and exactly where I was putting it in this case, so that's why I chose to just use my finger as opposed to a brush. This next page I'm doing, uh, it is inspired by the book fair, so I am cutting some orange paper to size. I've created a pocket using an old window envelope and I'm going to use this orange paper to create a pocket for the other side of this page. I'm going to cut this pocket at an angle and I will create some note cards to slide in there. I will adhere it with tacky glue and this stuff is really sticky and it it definitely stays on so I do enjoy using that product. Now I am going to create the journaling cards so I'm trying out some different sizes of papers checking the colors to see if they work well together. I'm using tacky glue again to put these little cards together and I'm going to slide it in the pocket to make sure it fits the way that I'd like it to. If I needed to trim it I could but I feel like this one fits really well. Now I'm going to cut a piece of paper and tacky glue that onto the back so that somebody has a space to journal on this decorative card. Sometimes folks have a hard time getting started with journaling, so I'm writing a little journal hint on top of this particular tab and it says, favorite books this year or you know books I got at the book fair or something like that just to help get them started. Now I'm flipping all the way to the back because I'm feeling inspired to do the summer break page that I'm going to create. I'm going to use a page that I took out of a book that I got at the thrift store and I just absolutely love the illustration that's on this page. It's a little mouse and he's in a hammock and he has the very top of a strawberry over the top of his head to provide some shade. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the page to size. After that I will adhere it to the back of the book. And I'm going to use Mod Podge to adhere this page to the book. I have a tool that I use to press the Mod Podge out to the edges and it, it's it's not a tool made for that so you don't have to use a special tool but um, I do think it's good to use a tool as opposed to only your hands because it it's flat and so it gets all of the air pockets out and all of the extra liquid out and then when that pushes out to the side, I just spread that around the edges. I've been collecting my window envelopes that I get in the mail because I wanted to try using them in some of my projects. And this is actually the first project that I've ever used window envelopes in. So I'm kind of learning as I'm going when I'm creating these little uh, window pockets. But I had a lot of fun doing it and I think it's something that I will continue to do. I feel like I've got this one just about ready, so I'm going to tacky glue a back onto it and then put that in the book. 
for the edges of this little envelope, you will see that I'm, I am using some tacky glue, but I'm also using a little bit of hot glue. I'm placing my little card in there now uh, before I hot glue it because I want to make sure I give room and space to slide that card in and out of there. I don't want it to like dry so flat that you can't get it in and out of there. Now I found the perfect embellishment for this page and it says Serene Summer or something like that. So now I'm prepping some decorative paper for the page next to it and as you can see I'm Mod Podging. I had laid down some wax paper. I like to use that to protect my, my crafting mat and um, it just keeps everything clean. So now I'm going to press that onto the opposite page and use my tool to press out any air bubbles or extra liquid. And then I go over that with my hand just to make sure I like to feel it, make sure it feels flat. And then also I can, you know, anything that squirts out, I can just kind of spread that around the edges and seal the edges really well. I'm going to attach some vellum now. And I have found over the years that I used to hate working with vellum because if you use double stick tape it would show through if you use glue it would wrinkle it so I tried just very recently using hot glue to stick my vellum on and it's just about perfect you can hardly see it it doesn't wrinkle it it's fantastic so that is the only way I will ever attach vellum anymore I have created a tiny pocket out of a paint chip sampler and so I'm going to uh, tacky glue that onto the page that I'm working on now. I am embellishing that little pocket with some stickers and then I will cut a small piece of journaling paper to size to fit inside of it. Schools typically have summer reading requirements so I made a little tiny card that says summer reading. All right, we are ready for the next page. This page is inspired by school spirit and I was actually able to get some paperwork from the school that I could use so I would have their colors and um, their their little uh, bear paw that they use and I could put that in this page. You'll see that I cut out um, the bear paw from this round part because I wanted the decorative paper to show through in between. I just thought it would look kind of neat. I am adhering that with Mod Podge and then I'm also going over the top of it with some Mod Podge just to seal that down really well. There are quite a few school spirit activities, so I want to make sure that I create this envelope and add several note cards on this page so that a parent has an opportunity to journal about um, the different activities and perhaps awards that their student might have received. So for this envelope, I'm actually using one that I found at the thrift store and I cut it in half and it is the perfect size to fit inside of this book. Now I'm going to embellish it to give it some color and I'm also going to embellish the little note cards that I'm going to slide into that pocket. I believe they have a day called Popsicle Friday and so I found a tiny little popsicle on one of these chipboard uh, collections that I have so I used that on one of the cards and I cut a colored index card in half the index card has lines on it and I put that on the back and it's a perfect little writing space just the other day I went into Hobby Lobby and I always check their clearance section and I found this one piece of paper and it's a scrapbook paper with beautiful colorful tickets on it and I grabbed it because I just, I, I didn't know why I grabbed it. I just knew it was really pretty. So I grabbed it and I'm so glad I did because I'm able to use it on this page. 
So as you can see, I am using some tea bags to um, make tiny pockets for this page and I'm just thrilled at them. And I have glued one of the tickets on the outside and then I'm putting some of the tickets inside of the little tea pocket and they say different things like all pro dads or astro skate. Um, they, they have a label of the different activities that the, the students were able to do. Well friends, that's a wrap for today. We will pick this up in a day or two. So thanks for watching today's video. This was the second one for our school days book. I'll have one more coming up where I will give you an entire walkthrough of the book so you can see each page in its entirety. Thanks for watching. See you soon.